In this video, let's review what is the equation of the tangent plane looks like and how to build it. So it should remind you the equation from a 2D case when we had y minus y sub 0 equals slope m x minus x sub 0 in 2D. In 3D, as you can see, we have additional variable z minus z sub 0, but slopes are still multiplied by the shift x minus x sub 0 and one more slope. Now we just have more slopes because we have partial derivatives. So when they ask us to find the equation of a tangent plane uh, to the given surface at the given point, you need to find first partial derivatives. Let's do that. Partial derivatives, in this case of the function f, with respect to x will be cx is a variable, y is a constant, gives you 12x squared times y minus x is a variable, so gives you 1, but 7y squared is a constant multiplied by x, so it stays. Derivative with respect to y, now y is a variable, derivative of y is 1, 4x cubed stays minus 14xy. Now we need to plug the point, just like in 2D case, you find your derivative, you plug the point 1, 1 and minus 3, that's what gives you slope. If you are new to this, maybe write down that this is x, y and z. So we're plugging in, some people even save space and yet they write down like so, at the point, f sub x at 1, 1 will be... 5, 12 minus 7, and then f sub y at 1, 1 is minus 10. That is, those are my slopes, partial slopes, partial derivatives. Now we can build the equation of a tangent uh, plane using the formula you just saw. So it's going to be z minus z sub 0, so plus 3 because minus minus 3, or you can write down if you want minus minus 3 equals the slope, first slope, 5, 5, x minus 1, the second slope, minus 10, minus 10, y minus 1. And this is the answer. I will simplify it in a second, but first I want to answer the second part of the question. The second part of the question asks us to find the normal line. If you don't remember, the difference between tangent line and normal line is the slope. The derivative at the point gives you the slope for the tangent line. But the, but the reciprocal, negative reciprocal of the derivative gives you the slope for the normal line. Negative reciprocal means minus 1 over. So just looking at this answer, we can give you, so this is tangent which we can simplify, but then normal line, so this tangent plane, uh, tangent plane, normal line, we take the derivatives, I would say even like so, we take the derivatives, yeah, 5 and minus 10, and they will give me minus 1 fifths, plus 10, and then z is multiplied by 1, so that gives me 1, and we can see it this way, z plus 3 over 1 equals x minus 1 over minus 5 plus y minus 10 over 10, uh, minus 1 over 10. This is one of the ways you can write down the solution for this uh, a little bit weird question. And then I wanted to mention that we kind of could simplify the previous answer, so maybe we should do it, but it's just algebra there, so not necessary to be honest. But if you want to, let's do it. Z equals, so by simplifying, I mean so we're going to collect all the terms, distribute and collect all the terms. It's going to be 5x minus 10y, and then we have minus 5 plus 10, and then minus 3. 
that gives you plus 2. So this is a simplified version of the answer. And this is the answer for the normal line, that is negative reciprocal of derivatives. Let's do one more example. Example number two. Find the equation of a tangent line to the given surface at a specified point. In this case, 3, 2, and 1. Same idea and even faster. Partial derivative with respect to x will be. If you don't know how to do this derivative, rewrite it with the power 1 half. Then I would do it like this. Minus 1 over 2 and the whole square root. Same thing will happen with derivative with respect to y. The beginning is the same, minus 1 over 2 and the huge square root. And you copy the whole square root in both cases. Do you understand where the square root came from? That is because the derivative of square root of x is minus 1 over 2 square root of x. Is it actually minus? No, it's plus. I just realized. Yeah, plus. Times, and I will put times into the top of the fraction because it saves lots of space. But the top of the fraction comes from the chain. Derivative of the function inside, first with respect to x, minus 2x, and that's kind of all. Here, derivative will be taken with respect to y. It's going to be minus 4y, and that's all. Now, plug the point 3, 2, 1. So, derivative with respect to x at 3 and 2 will be plug carefully everything and just calculate maybe just just skip calculations but you can write down minus two times three two and two actually cancels out you don't have to be bothered by this so just minus x minus three a square root 18 minus nine minus two times four that is minus three Partial derivative with respect to y at 3 and 2 will be minus 2 times y, which is 2. And then the denominator is exactly the same. 18 minus 9 minus 2 times 4. In this case, it's minus 4. Equation of the tangent plane. Tangent plane is z minus z sub 0. What is my z sub 0? Here it is, 1. z sub 0, so z minus 1 equals the first slope, this one, minus 3, multiplied x minus x sub 0, which is 3, plus the second slope, minus 4, times the shift y minus y sub 0, which is 2. That is the answer. Or, if you want to simplify, it's going to be minus 3x and minus 4y. Then I have to check what is 1 plus 9 and plus 8. 18. And this is the final answer. So hopefully now you can do these questions pretty fast. Those are very typical questions. We like putting them on our tests. And we just need to check that you remember the equation of a tangent plane and how it is created and how do you simplify it. These questions are pretty short, so they are really good for the exams. Thank you for watching.